What's going on you guys? Back for another video. Uh, it's been a couple days and uh, I've done a lot of tedious things, but it's time to get working on this again. As you can see, the engine bay is open. I am trickle charging my battery because it's just been sitting. Uh, I have been working on the interior pieces a little bit more, been dialing in just a couple of the other stuff. Don't pay attention to the background. Uh, the background is irrelevant because I'm getting a shed soon, so we're just like moving stuff right now so I can clean up this garage and organize it to my liking. Alright, so recently, recently what I've been doing is I've been painting the, uh, the interior pieces and they've been coming out great. I want you to see these. Give me up the tripod. So the splatter theme has always been a big thing with me and uh, I wanted to keep it you know, a little bit more low key, but yeah, I mean, we're going to swap this in. I've been cleaning the interior. I got my floor mats all matched up. They're not really clean, but they match. Uh, the doors could use like a lot, like a lot of work. The upholstery is just trashed, but yeah, I mean, let's get to, oh, let's get to installing it. All right. I'm going to put you back on the tripod and we're going to angle it up. All right. So this piece right here, I'm not even in frame. Okay, so this piece right here, it's pretty self-explanatory. It goes right over my gauges, right over my uh, my check my check engine light. That's that's on. And it just really just snaps into place. So, and unsnaps the same way. You just need a little bit of a pry, like a, oh, I put it back in the toolbox. You need like a little like in the interior piece to kind of like pry up these corners. And then right underneath it, you have a screw that goes inside a push clip. Very weird, but it works. Push that through. There we go. Okay, this top section right here is going to be the easier one. This bottom one I have a little bit of wiring because of my infinity light. Uh, it's from a previous XB owner that hopefully I will, we'll get a collaboration out of soon. But for right now, we're going to install the top section with all of the new you know, pieces, interior pieces. I am missing one of these lights. I might just take it off of my stock one because this is the Toyota BB, as you can see right there. And uh, I kind of emphasis a little bit more like splatter around it so you pay more attention and then this is kind of like hidden in the background. So I like that a little bit. So we're going to install this. Alright, and then you have two screws in each one of these uh, knob holes. Finger tight, well, snug. And then the other side. And then my OEM, my OEM knobs don't work, so I had to get the Toyota BB from Japan and get these knobs. And then for this, I still, like I said, I have all this wiring right here. So I have to kind of figure out where this all goes because I forgot. Uh, I know one's a power for... This 
right here is my Infinity Mirror BB lower console. So this was made by one of the uh, the older owners of this. Let's put this out of the way. The brake is up, and uh, I think this is actually a pretty cool piece. So I, I've I've wanted to like redo it because the glass in the back here has been cracked. I've been taking this out and I kind of fucked it up. So I wanted to like redo this, but different. I want to try something a little bit different. So let's install this. Uh, I almost tried the cigarette lighter. This here. Okay, that's installed. Let's get this. Okay. And then. Final install. Okay, so I've gotten the dash together somewhat. And uh, I'm gonna put these last two screws in. It's kinda hard to point the camera and uh, do this at the same time. 
I'm just, I just like the overall look of this. Look at that. You know, not a lot of people like splatter. I'm a, I'm a pretty good, pretty big fan of it. This isn't like a super like hardcore build or anything like that, but still, I think this is pretty sick. I think having all of this to match all one color. This is all the original like paint color too for the actual car. Kind of hard to see because it's like really dark, and I I can't take my car outside because it's gonna rain. I don't want to take it out, but. I mean, it's just, this just looks so much better. All right, cue the slow-mo shots. So yeah, that's my interior. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Just a little short little video. Uh, I just need to get those pieces back in. Uh, I am going to be starting to clean my garage because if you can see, this is it's really bugging me. Uh, I've been, I fixed the wiring on all that. Uh, it's still like having like this little issue where it constantly wants to be turned on. So it might be something with the switch. I have to check, like take a look into that. But for right now, I'm, I'm cleaning up. I reorganized all of the cleaning products and detailing products and took all of the like brake cleaner and everything and I put it up here uh, as soon as we get like everything out of this garage because the whole like maintenance shelf for all the lawn stuff uh, like all of the you know it, it's just it's just gonna be cleared up so as soon as that happens we can start doing like a workbench we can start building shit putting shelves up uh, tire storage, something like that. I don't have extra tires right now, so. Uh, and also a little secret is uh, the wifey is looking for a project car. So anybody, if anybody has any leads in the tri-state area of Illinois uh, on a uh, DC, what is it? I don't know, I forgot which one it is. Uh, an Acura Integra, uh, older Acura Integra. Uh, she likes the she likes the bug eye. I'm just gonna put a picture up here. Uh, it has to be manual uh, and has to be running. It, it just had, we have to drive it home. I don't have a trailer. I don't have a hookup or anything like that right now. Everything going on with the quarantine. It, it's we're trying to get whatever we can done. But she's looking for a car because I've been working on mine too much. So from Tack Entertainment, this is Tim. Check you all later. Ooh.